What's going on, everybody? Chad here. Harm's Way, Chad. Harm's Way Comics. Coming at you, your local neighborhood spider, Chad. Um, I finally went to my LCS. God, it's been weeks. Um, working Tuesday through Saturday does not help because most of them are closed on Sunday, and I have class on Monday, so it's hard to get out there. But I did pick up a ton of books. <sighs> man, I need to go more often because, man, that price tag. Ugh. But let's see what I got because that's all that we're talking about. And so this is from my local LCS, GG's Comics and Sanger. Um, so first pick, um, it, I had to check this out. I think this is going to be the new wave of celebrities getting involved into comic books, hopefully to get a movie bid. Um, just, um, yeah, that's, that's the way I feel. Um, I kind of feel like people are, you know, like Berserker. Uh, gotten, you know, Keanu Reeves got involved in the comic and in creation, and now it's being optioned. So here it is. This is Phenom X. Bam. Uh, John uh, 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 Luguiziamo himself, John Luguiziamo. Um, <clears throat> you know, the wonderful actor who played uh, the Violator in the Spawn movie. Uh, you know, the, actually, that was a pretty decent Spawn movie given, given that time. Um, and Todd McFarlane have come together to create this. Um, this whole story center around, centers around uh, Max Gomez, which that's Max, um, who's been wrongfully imprisoned and uh, he wants to regain his freedom. And he agrees to be a subject of an underground government experiment, as most do, right? So I have not checked this out, but we'll see. We'll see how this works. Um, also, next we have, we have, oh, you know, damn, that hurts right there. Ow. Um, we have Venom number one. This is the brand new Venom series. Uh, Al Ewing and I believe Ram V and uh, Brian Brian Hitch. Um, this is now Eddie Brock's son, Dylan, taking over the Venom symbiote because guess what? Eddie Brock is now a god. Um, this is right off from the Extreme Carnage series. Um, you know, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it some hope. I think I really do. Oh, what is what is this? What is this in here? Oh, this is the Donny Cates Hulk run thing with a whole bunch of... Oh, look at that. Okay. Either way, I really kind of like the way uh, the Venom suit looks. So we'll go, uh, we'll go with that. We'll see what's up. I also have my Berserker 5. Um, I actually heard this one sold out pretty quick at the store. Um, just so following this. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is, this, is, this is how far... I mean, out of body... Um, I have out-of-body... No? Maybe I do. I don't know. Um, so I still need to catch up. I have not yet read number four, so I'm still on this. Um, sorry, I'm moving books around because uh, Moon Knight number four. Haven't read it yet. Ever since watching Jupiter's Legacy on TV, I've been involved in the comics, so here's Jupiter's five, Jupiter's Legacy number five. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. Let's put this with this. Um, so I've been digging this, uh, the, the new Mr. Miracle series. So I have, uh, five and six. So this will be the conclusion of this series. Um, I was really digging it and I, I, hopefully this, this ending will be great. Um, I have n nothing but great things to say about it. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Okay. Hold on. Let me get these in order too. Uh, I have 30, 31, 32. If I can math, there we go. Um, 31, 32, and 30 of Miles Morales Spider-Man. I'm just going to be perfectly honest. This is not the best suit at all. I think it needs to go back to the original. I think they were trying to kind of mix... I, I get what they're trying to do with it. I just don't think it's the best costume, to be honest. I'm just going to be outright and honest. I mean, it, it, it very much blends that that urban kind of with Scarlet Spider and, uh, I mean, and, and, the, and the, the, kind of like the, the mask thing here too. I don't know. It's not my favorite suit. I'll tell you that. Um, I think it should go back to the black and the, the other one, the previous one. This series right here. I don't know what it is about this series, but this is by far one of my favorite reads right now. Um, it's raw. It's real. Um, 
It's a good story. Um, it has all the elements that I'm looking for, which is depth. Um, it has issues with with um, abuse, substance abuse, psychological issues. I like it a lot. I, I'm just man, that it's prima. Um, the last bit of Extreme Carnage. Um, I still need to go back and collect a few more of these. Um, I have yet to read all these, so I have actually no idea what's going on. So I've collected all uh, all I can of all the, the variations, but I have yet to read them. So, and then, doo -doo 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 -doo, boo bam! Here it is, House of Slaughter. Um, yeah, this is the secret variant. There we go. And you, well, we all know what variant this is from. Come on now. So. That's it. That's what I'm reading. That's what's going on. That's what I'm collecting. That's what I just bought from all these comics from my LCS, which I'm going to bag and board right now because I have some and most people don't. So I am your local neighborhood spider, Chad. Um, I can't wait to read this. Also, here, let me see if I can find it. Oh, right here. So when you're reading this issue, you scan the QR code. And it gives you a playlist that you read that you listen to while you read this comic. That's some er that you know. There's some early things that you know you would play music to to what you're reading and stuff like that, or you'd have a background in um, some sort of you know sounds and stuff like that. But that's really cool that they've incorporated this playlist so you can read it and and listen to the music to kind of heighten the feel of it. I think a lot more comics should actually in uh, get involved with that. With that being said, guys, I... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. Forgot. Um, for all of you who have served in the military, happy... Well, no. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. And I'm stuck. So I'm still here. Um, once again, for all of those who have served, um, for all of those currently serving, um, and for all of those who have fallen, I just want to say... Thank you so much for your service.